Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Last time I was home was the last time that you flew me back. Uh, oh, last time I did an angel flight was the last time was the time I flew you back. Oh shoot! <laughs> I've done other things. I, I also do flying Samaritans. Instruments, uh, gas, gas on the full sink, full rate. Attitude, trim for takeoff, 10 degrees flaps, run up. Tracy Traffic, Centurion 3 Alpha Tango, departing runway 30, uh, straight out departure, Tracy, and I'll be on your way. Roger, no worries, thank you. Tracy Traffic, Scott 104, your Fox for the circling midfield of the airport, is sending out 2,300, uh, simulating a emergency engine failure for uh, Tracy Traffic, push and function. other flights you do, what, do you, what exactly do you do? So I'll take a bunch of volunteers, like uh, doctors, nurses, uh, oh. that sort of thing, down into Mexico. Oh, and okay. then we run a clinic, on, so we'll fly down Friday uh, morning, run the clinic uh, all day, oh. and then on Saturday, and then uh, fly back on Sunday. So they offer their services? Yeah. Free of charge? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So how many can you fit in here? Um, I've had uh, four four more people in here at really? one point, but not not for that flight. Oh, okay. Um, I've only had uh, so I had the back two seats full and yeah. the middle seat both middle seats out. Oh, okay. Um, and how often? How do you get a part of that? How often? So one of my one of my uh, hangar neighbors uh, is a member of that or was, and he oh, recruited okay. me to join it. Oh, nice. I fly back on the, let's see, wait. And the traffic is 10 o'clock, 3 miles off friction, 6,500, I'm talking to them, they're serious. December 3rd. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to call Angel Fight and schedule that. So the 8th, I'm going to try and do another one of those uh, uh, flying Samaritans. Oh, that's cool. Flight. And normally it's to Mexico? It's always the same place for this uh, particular chapter. Really? Yeah. Aww. So it's in San Quentin, which is uh, about a uh, one hour flight south of the California-Mexico uh, border. Yeah. And, uh... Do you have to go through customs? Yeah, a bunch. Okay, we got a big beep coming up here. Here, five kilo. Five kilo, at the reduce your uh, slow cycle speed, the trap your phone. Yeah, we just, uh... Got ten, ten knots of wind out uh, by coming back down here. Wow. So how's your daughter, the one that... 25-25, trail down. The one that wants to be a mechanic. She's a mechanic. She's, She's a working. Mechanic? Yeah. She's working? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, I mean, she was always a mechanic, but... Yeah, so she's been working uh, in uh, at, at that uh, airport right there. Oh, at that airport! Yeah, in that big hangar uh, oh. right there for oh. about four months now. Good for her! Yeah. Right on. So oh. she, she worked at, at, uh, at a, a dealership for a long time. Yeah. And then... Uh, 
Right. And now she switched to airplanes. And she's that is so learning cool. stuff. And, but she's an apprentice now. And, uh, wow. Yeah. Good for her. Good and, for uh, her. They, she said uh, they packed up four airplanes and put them in crates to go different places and stuff. And That's She was great. a big part of that, yeah. Aww. Good for her. So besides the Good Samaritan, have you flown anywhere else with your friend the other day? So yesterday we flew uh, all over the place, um, down to Wood Lake, California. Oh, okay. And uh, did you stop and eat, or yeah, we had breakfast. Oh, and, nice. And then we flew to Mariposa, and then we flew to Oakdale, and then we flew home. Oh my gosh. Um, it was a lot of fun. I was, you know, flying down in the foothills over yeah. here, real low. Very cool. It was a lot of fun. I flew uh, another friend and we went to um, Catalina. <gasps> oh, nice. Oh, man. Had lunch there. That was really awesome. Went to uh, a place in South San Jose for a, a food truck fly-in uh, back in uh, cool. October. Um, and then uh, uh, last month in October, I took this plane and I flew it and visited some friends in uh, Oklahoma and Texas. Oh, nice. Yeah. How was that flight? Long. Long? Yeah. Yeah. I took off out of Tracy like we did today, but headed yeah. south. And okay. I, uh, about 30 minutes of the flight, I went, ooh, I made a mistake. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 I made it another half an hour, and I landed at the, I looked on the map, and I'm like, okay, yeah. that, that, that airport right there has really cheap gas. I'm going to go land there yeah. and use their bathroom. <laughs> So I landed there, used their bathroom, yeah. and then, uh... Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, heading to SAC and then, uh, Red Bluff, uh, and, uh, making our way, uh, through the mountains that way for a three-off single. So do any of your other kids, do they, are they risk... Are they any risk takers? Not really. No? No. No. So who you ride your bikes with? Your buddies? Yeah, I've got a couple of buddies. That I used, when I was, I got my first motorcycle when I was 20. Oh, shoot. And, what uh, kind? I was a ninja. A ninja oh, ninja. those are badass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I got my first one. I, I rode that for a year, and then I uh, traded up to a brand new one. I rode that for... Oh, since uh, from 2001 to 2007. Yeah. And uh, I got in an accident on the freeway. Oh, no. On that one. Yeah, the person went from the number one to the number two to the number three and then cut all the way back across. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I've seen that. And I just, that. like, stood up, stood it on the nose, squeezed the brakes. Yeah. And I mean, what else are you <laughs> Right. And uh, I hit, I was like, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, it's coming over. This is going to break my back. And I relaxed. And, and went like this, and yeah. then like this, and then hit the hit the back bumper with the headlight. Oh! The bike fell over like this, but I just fell onto the under the. under the trunk. Oh! And my helmet broke the uh, back window. Oh my gosh! You didn't get a concussion? Or Not anything? at all. I, the only damage was like I had a big old bruise right here because I caught the trunk like this. Oh, okay. Shoot. Yeah. So very lucky. Yeah, you're I've had a, I've had a lot of like luck. And, <laughs> Good and, luck. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So after but that. Luck, but you know, also luck favors the prepared. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You always go into it like, okay, well. Yeah. Yeah. So after that bike, what bike did you get after that? I got a uh, Concourse, the Kawasaki Concourse, Concourse which is. Oh, a, okay. 1400 cc uh, sport touring bike. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Yeah, I rode that up to Portland twice. Really, to see your parents? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. On nice weather, right? Yeah. Yeah. How long does it take you? It took 12 hours. Really? I, yeah, I had to stop a bunch, you know. Yeah. One to stretch your legs. Two right. to get gas. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and the, the faster you go, the more gas you burn. It's right. only got a five-gallon tank, so, you know. Have you ever got a ticket for going too fast? Or do you know I you're... I nothing. <laughs> you're on camera. <laughs> you're on camera. <laughs> I admit nothing. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, man. That's cool. You know, life is too short. You gotta live the best life you can, cause yeah, getting old is the pits. <laughs> yeah. You know, you start getting aches and stuff, and like, where did that come from? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. Started getting a ache in my back, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, why? You know, and doctor says, don't sleep like this. And I'm like, well, I like sleeping like that. <laughs> well, don't, because it's going to hurt. Right. Oh, damn. I was going to put it again. This is uh, Centurion November 503 Alpha Tango level 45. 503 Alpha Tango, North Cal, Bridge, Roger. Do you use your call sign or do you use Agent I, I called in with my call sign. I yeah. But Angel Flight gives you one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be using it. <laughs> I don't remember my... I don't fly it often enough. Right. I flew you, and then I flew three last year, and that's all yeah. I've done so far. Well, now I have your nervous, so now I just... And I'm flying! And I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a flight! So how are the other kids doing? You're good. Yeah. Uh, my oldest is uh, hopefully coming over for Thanksgiving. <gasps> oh. uh, my youngest is still living with me, so uh, you know he'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be there. But how's he doing? Is he knucklehead? Yeah. Still can't figure things out. No, not really. And I'm oh. not pushing the issue right now. No, you know, I, I tried to do that with my 22-year-old. Yeah. You know, I think it's till they get to even 30. They're, they're still like, I don't know. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't sink in. Yeah. You know? And everybody blooms at their own time. Yeah. You know? So, I agree with you. You just got to be patient with them. <laughs> well, your kids are the same age as mine, right? Yeah. About? yeah. I have a 30-year-old Julian. And then a 22-year-old Joshua, and then the 14-year-old daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, even Julian, my 30-year-old, sometimes I gotta hit him upside his head. Like, <laughs> come on, kid. He's a, a, in school in L.A., or? So he's going to Cal State. Uh, he's taking some courses there. He's doing some... Um, it's like he's kind of like a TA for this one organization where these kids go to this this college and um like if they need help he he helps them coding and all kinds of stuff and he learns more as he goes um but he's trying to build up his portfolio yeah you know yeah because yeah. he looked at yours and he goes oh damn because <laughs> he once i told him your name he's like i'm sure ed won't mind linkedin internet yeah. and then he saw your YouTube and he's like damn <laughs> and I said see just be patient just and he's like no I, I want it now and I say well you can't have that attitude because it's you know this stuff's hard yeah all right I'm gonna switch things and why do we have to do that now uh, we've been in the air for 30 minutes, okay. and uh, we're lower on the right tank than we are on the left, so now we burn from the left tank. Okay. I live, my house is like six minutes from the airport. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I could walk there if I wanted to. Nice. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I lived closer to the airport. Buy a house. Buy another house. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to sell the airplane. <laughs> yeah, really. Or go further away. Two properties? They're expensive. Yeah. Yeah, little dot way over there. Yeah, I see. Would you ever want to get a new plane? Another plane? Kinda, yeah. 
Uh, there's a uh, this same plane, uh, but pressurized. Oh. Um, Very cool. And then there's also one that's this same plane that's pressurized, where they put a jet turbine oh. on the front. Oh, you're gonna be dangerous. <laughs> I already know. So it doesn't go any faster, really. It climbs faster. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's more reliable. And, you know, I've already had an engine out once. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's uh, a, a lot more expensive. So. Really? Yeah. Even if you sell this? So the jet one is, uh, most of them were like 700000 But you enjoy it. It's I one of it. your... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now one of my uh, my second uh, angel flight mission, uh, I was gonna go have lunch with my buddy yeah. who lives in the hills over there. Yeah. And I was gonna go fly to him, and he's like, "Sorry, dude, I can't. Uh, something came up." Yeah. And uh, I'm like, "Darn!" And then I got a text message from Angel Flight uh, where they broadcast out to everybody, "Save a mission. Somebody's stuck in Reading." Oh. And I went, "I'm on it." And I went and picked her up and then flew her down to Palo Alto. It was like an emergency? Uh, it wasn't an emergency, but uh, she had come from, like, Washington. <gasps> oh, okay. And uh, uh, it was like the handoff like we just did there. Right. But the person that was supposed to pick her up had a maintenance issue. Oh, no. And so she was stuck. So she got stuck. And so oh, I, did, that's so I cool. saved that mission, yeah. Oh, thanks. Good job, Ed. <laughs> That's, it's really great what you guys do. Thank you. I wish we could throw it out there and everybody could just... I don't think I... Do you have brothers and sisters? I do. My brother lives down, uh, down there um, in Manteca. Oh, okay. About 45 minutes from my house. Does he do the same thing you do? No, he's an automotive tech. Automotive tech, that's cool. That's how my daughter got into it. Oh, for her uncle. Yeah. Were you good in school? No. You weren't? Oh. No. That's what my son asked. He said, ask him if he was good in school, if he got good grades. No, I got really bad grades. I barely made it. Oh my gosh, Dad! I, I think... I think uh, I found a document that said I had a 1.8 GPA. Ed. Yeah. No. I never were did. You, were I you never did any, around? any homework. Oh well, then that's the very. No homework. Out. Didn't your parents get on you? They tried. <laughs> they tried. I mean, like when I uh, so I tried to go to Portland Community College and I took one yeah. class. Yeah. I did okay in the class, but then I tried to do another class, and I'm just like, no, this isn't for me. Yeah. Um, and that was after I got out of the Air Force. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I tried to go to an online school. Yeah. Uh, I tried to do. A, I tried to go to school a couple of times. Yeah. And then finally, I found a school uh, that worked, and I was able to get my uh, bachelor's degree in 17 months. Wow because of the type of school and the type of learning that I did. You know, yeah. I don't I do not do well with long lectures and lots of homework. Yeah. Um, I learn concepts very quickly. Right. And, um, That's what happened to Julian. He wasn't doing, he was kind of goofing off, but it wasn't for him. Yeah. And then now he gets all A's in his, you know, his, these little, what do you call them? I don't know what kind of classes, the, the coding and stuff. Yeah. He, he's into that. I yeah. mean, he, he can, you know, with flying colors. But regular school? Nah. He doesn't like it. So, um, Julia was asked, what exactly does a CISO do? That's yeah. what we, because we looked it up, and it's not a really... Good description. We, we were still confused. I was confused. What is it? What exactly do you do? Every day is different. Really? Yeah. So, um, and I work for a small company, right? So, uh, larger companies, uh, the CISO is a, is a business risk professional. 
And so my job is to protect the organization and our customers, uh, our data, and, me and measure risk um, oh, okay. from a cybersecurity perspective, and then uh, take measures to protect that. I've got a, a, a small team of people. We do, you know, implement tools to uh, protect against malware. Um, we do. Uh, uh, I've got a gentleman who runs most of my uh, compliance, uh, yeah. cybersecurity compliance stuff. Uh, we've got one person who does uh, security operations in, in, in different roles. So, yeah. you know, do a cybersecurity investigation where we would investigate uh, a, a security incident, uh, a phishing attack. So we, pr we try and prevent uh, phishing attacks and that sort of thing. And uh, you have... And so I run all the tools and the team that uh, does all of and those. And are you actually doing, you know, behind I, the scenes? I do do some of that, really? yeah. Yeah. Wow. You have a big responsibility. Yeah. You get really stressed sometimes, or do you love what you do? It can be rewarding. Um, yeah. It can be very stressful. Really? Uh, um, it can be, it can cause some burnout. Wow. But, you know, uh, heading out, doing this flight, yeah. uh, kind of takes my mind off of it. I hope my son can do it. I, I believe in him. He's really good at it. and. In your position now, did it take you, how many years did it take you to get to that level? Well, I've been doing uh, cybersecurity for 20 years. Oh, shoot, okay. Oh, I'm so excited to go home. Yeah. I, I love being with my parents, don't get me wrong. I, I love them to death, but I miss my daughter, I miss my home, you know? Yeah. Is your daughter uh, back home with your husband? Yes. Yes. She used to fly. Uh, she's done a couple of flights with me during the summer. Yeah? Yeah. She likes it. This video turned into much more of an interview about me flying and what a CISO or Chief Information Security Officer does than about Angel Flight West program. Valerie was going home for Thanksgiving holiday and her eldest son is studying for a career in cybersecurity. The flight continued on for another three hours and we talked about Angel Flights that she's been on and ones that I volunteered for. I was able to drop her off and meet her husband and daughter. I love flying so much, but it's so rewarding when I can help somebody get home for the holidays. And it's so much sweeter when the passenger is as great as Valerie. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and hit that bell for notifications. Happy holidays.